Good morning, National Dayers. It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, April 21st. It is the 111th day of the year. There are 254 days left. Happy National Big Word Day. Big Word Day takes place on April 21st every year. Big Word Day is all about words, specifically coming up with new large words to keep the English language alive and well. Every language on the planet has a lexicon made up of words. Through speech, people have created and polished words over time. We tend to use short words when communicating so we can convey more meaning with fewer words. Big Word Day is exactly what the world needs. We use words in our day-to-day -day life, many of which can be found in a dictionary. In 1755, Johnson's Dictionary was first published and is highly regarded by lexicographers today. In addition to creating the methodical tone of reference books, Johnson produced a widely emulated style of biography and literary critique. In 1807, Webster began compiling an American Dictionary of the English Language, which he completed during his year abroad in Paris, France, and at the University of Cambridge in 1825. His book contained 70,000 terms, 12,000 of which had never appeared in a dictionary. G and C Merriam Company bought Webster's Dictionary after his death in 1843, and Encyclopedia Britannica bought Merriam-Webster in 1964. Today is also National Chickpea Day, National Bulldogs Are Beautiful Day, National Kindergarten Day, and National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. Hey, National Dayers, May 1st is National Principals Day. Would you like your principal to be featured on National Day with Mrs. E? Well, it's simple. Send in a picture and the name and pronunciation of your school's principal, and they might make it onto National Day with Mrs. E. Send those submissions to National Day with Mrs. E at gmail.com. Let's see if your principal ends up on the show on May 1st. Okay, National Dares, today we're doing a big word illustration. Let me show you. Gather the following supplies. You'll just need paper and markers for this one, but it's a lot of fun. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use illustrations or drawings to help us remember the definition of a word. So I picked the word codiwomple, C-O-D-D-I-W-O-M-P-L-E, codiwomple. And what codiwomple means is to travel in a purposeful manner to a vague destination. Well, that's kind of weird. How am I gonna remember that? Oh, I know. Since the destination is unknown, I'm gonna draw a bunch of question marks on the far edge of the paper. But I'm traveling purposefully, as the definition says, so I'm gonna draw a straight line toward the question marks. So there you have it, Cottywomple traveling in a purposeful direction toward an unknown destination. This is a great way to help remember a big word. You know this cat loves me, right? All right, National Dayers, Commando put on his Sunday best to teach us about big words because he's so fancy, aren't you? All right, National Dayers, decorate some big words today, learn some big words today, dress up for some big words today, keep smiling, have a fabulous Friday, and we will see you next week. That's right. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Mr. Wendlin and everyone in the grades one and two classes at our Redeemer Lutheran School in Madison, Wisconsin. Next up is Carrie, Julie, and Kelly's vocational skills class in the special school district in St. Louis, Missouri. 
And our third shout out today goes out to Miss Sloan and Miss Martyr and everyone in the grade five program at Dr. Leroy McLeod Elementary School in Inglewood, New Jersey. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.